Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 55 Grand Arena. The final opponent for this season is Balix. And I do apologize for the long break between the videos for my Grand Arena. Uh, I got busy. That's the uh, best answer I've got for y'all. I just got busy with stuff. So let's just um, get this um, knocked out of the way, shall we? Not a whole bunch of... I mean, there's some heavy hitter stuff like Gas and Malgus and Starkiller and Lord Vader down here. Lord Vader, Lord Vader being his only GL down here. So, we're going to kill him with some good old, um, oh, what are we using here? Oh, JMK. It's been like a week since I've done the actual recording for this, not the voiceover, just like the actual Pooja recovery. Recovery? Recording, obviously. But yeah, um, I just got busy. That's how things are. This is going to be the last hoorah for, well, the SLKR and Jabba Datacron, which ended Wednesday last week. So, by the time this video goes up, which will be Monday the 27th, it'll have almost been a week since they've gone away. It is what it is. Set. What even set number are we on? Seven? I mean, it looks interesting. It doesn't look too broken. It looks okay. We'll see how things go. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you're having fun in Conquest. And I hope you all had fun in Territory Battles. Honestly, the Reva mission change wasn't too substantial, I feel like. I had a pretty easy job beating it. I mean, you can't just go in guns blazing now and just spam AOEs all the time. So you got to be a little bit uh, a little bit more um, particular on what you do and how you do it. However, my guild didn't do very well this month on it. Well, this month on this on this go around. Hopefully, next month it'll be uh, just adjusted and people will get back to closer to getting the number of rubbish shards that we had at the beginning of the month compared to this last go around. I could have done Imperial Troopers here. Um, however, I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to be able to go before through Candorous. And I really did not want to test that theory and completely mess up. So that is why I picked my Galactic Republic under GMK. I wanted to be on the safer side. 3v3, oh my god. It's going to be a mess. Not looking forward to it, to be completely honest. I mean, it'll be interesting, but it's not going to be fun. However, I have, a, I have some updates on my job of stuff. I got Boosh done. Um, I've got Greedo at Relic 3 now, and then I am 21 shards away from getting Kristansen finished off. So hopefully, I will be able to start farming the energy for his event, or even his shards this week, or at the beginning of next week. That is my hope, at least. But anyways, Star Killer. Since we need to use my Imperial Troopers against Lord Vader, we're going to use them here. And um, hope for the best, because even though I have a lot of faith in my <laughs> Imperial Troopers, I don't always have faith in the game allowing me to, you know, win fights. Oh, Daisy, are you trying to go out and see what's going on? Well, hold on, girl. I have no idea what my dog wanted to do, to be completely honest with you guys. Alrighty, so we killed whoever their tank was. I don't even remember who it was now. And now we're gonna go for Vesis so she doesn't revive. And we'll leave Star Killer last. I do love this counter though. It's quite fun. I mean, you can go sideways if you're not using it uh, properly, but if you're using Imperial Troopers wrong, you might need some help. You might need a little bit of learning help. It's it's not that difficult to learn though. Just 
don't hit star killer until the end and then kill him okay so what we have here armor protection and crit damage pretty lethal good thing they can't use that going forward I have no idea what I'm gonna do for my 3v3 defenses I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I have no idea like I'm gonna have to completely reshuffle everything I I have no idea what I'm gonna do I can't I can't think of what I can do I know I, I, I know what I can do it's just more a matter of what I want to do you know Sorry, I'm just like exhausted. Had a long weekend. But I want to get this video done. I wanted to get this video done for you guys before 3 and 3 started. Whoops, sorry. Instead of, you know, leaving it till, you know, 3v3 starts, be like, ah, here's the end of uh, 5v5. Sorry about that. I know it's basically what I'm doing, but I really do apologize for having it up so late. I hope everyone enjoyed the fight. Uh, the recording I did with Aesop for uh, Jedi Monkey's Grand Arena the other day. That was honestly quite a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting him to join the, uh, the stream either. We were just recording after spending almost a half hour monkeying with uh, the recording because it kept... Uh, well, we joined the Discord call and then I can't hear Jedi Monkey because his, R his, said, uh, his Discord said his RTC wasn't connecting or whatever. So that was nice. So we finally got it set up, and then we spent another 10 minutes just faffing about, talking about what teams we're going to use, and then we started fighting, and not long after, Aesop joined, so it was pretty cool. Alrighty. Now for gas. Folksy, crit damage, and protection. Really good Datacron here for this team. Let's see. I know I'm going to do CLS. Um, however, oh, what Datacron did I pick here? I should have gone with the other Datacron, the first one I clicked on, instead of this one. And that will become obvious very quickly. It'll be a massive, why did you do that moment? I am of half a mind to actually make a uh, Chupio Datacron. I mean, I already have a Relic 5. Why? I mean, why not? It's only two more Relic levels, but it won't be... I won't push him to Relic 7 until after I get Jabba unlocked, which hopefully will be relatively soon. Um, we'll have to see. But yeah, uh, with this marked Datacron... Um, because I had stunned Rex, uh, I had to go for Rex, and Fives did his sacrifice, and now everything is tumbling out of control. I was not pleased with myself. I mean, I don't know. I thought I could use this Datacron, and then it would work. I mean, it should have, but I didn't want Rex cleansing and putting up tenacity. And yeah, because of that one misplay with the Datacron... I now have to use a second team against this guy and his gas. All because of one misplayed Datacron. It is what it is. I'm just annoyed with myself. I'm honestly trying to decide which first order I really need for this team and who I don't. I mean, with a broken gas 5 first team, it shouldn't be that difficult to kill him. I mean, I say that, but, you know, I could still mess it up pretty easily. You know, but, um, yeah. Not pl not my proudest moment. Not my best, not even my brightest moment. Just me being stupid because I thought I could be a little cheeky and go, ha-ha. 
take this. That sounded really weird for me to say, wow. But yeah. Hopefully, that doesn't cost me the entire match. You just have to wait and see. Yeah, okay, well. That's done and dealt with. Now on to... Whatever else we got in the back here. What do we got? Inquisitors, Rebels, and some BAM Scoundrels. Nothing too scary, but... Yeah. The problem is, now I have to be extremely... And I mean extremely... Careful. And I have to ensure I don't mess up any more fights. I mean, I still have two, G, uh, two GLs, which is good. Um, however... I'm not going to use one of them against this Mon Mothma team because Wampa. I'm going to miss his Wampa Kron. I'm sorry, buddy. You'll be missed. His Data Kron will be missed. It was lots of fun just stacking up. Look at all the protection. Look at all the bonus protection. Just so beautiful. All the dots he keeps flying because of it. I don't think there's anything in the sets right now that'll help Wampa. Well, I think there's one. Well, no, the set seven has potency and tenacity. Um, I think set six has potency and tenacity as well. I'd have to look. Or is it more defense than anything? I honestly can't remember. But there's this one Datacron I rolled the other uh, day. And it puts a lot of potency from the new set, which kind of annoyed me. Speaking of the new set, I've had abysmal drop rates for it. I am, like, almost to 500-ish points for the data disc, whatever it's called. I can't remember for Conquest. I'm so sorry. And it took me until, I believe, uh, Saturday to get a, a full row of Datacrons from the new set. I don't know why the drop rate is so abysmally low. I don't know if it's just me or what. And of course, the one person, I don't want her to revive, and she does. Thank you, Mon Mothma. Very cool. But yeah, back to the Datacron set. Yeah, I finally have a full row of them. I know people might have more, but I just got, I've gotten extremely unlucky for farming it. I'm not hurting from currency. I have like 18 something million from dismantling set five. So I just have no idea why it's so hard to get the new one. Oh, well, as long as I have some laying around for three, three, I'll be happy. It's not like I don't have any from set six that I can use. It's just now we have light side ones. I can use them with my light side teams well it depends on the team and if I really want to let them use it kind of thing you guys know what I mean Mon Mothma fights so fun I could have done Aiden as well against this team but I wanted to use Aiden later on and I figured my Wampa would not be struggling as as much against this team. Um, however, I'm being proven extremely wrong as we were hitting. We just you know crossed below the two minute mark on the battle, and we're still still going here. Oh, and there's Pal again. This is this is stellar. I love it. Very cool. It is so cool game. Because if I time out against this Mon Mothma team, I might rage uncontrollably. Just how in the world is my poor Wampa not killing this team?
And it's not like I haven't given Wampa decent mods. I haven't given God tier mods. But it's not like he has five dot mods on him. He's got full six dot mods and he's struggling to kill this team. Hope oh, we're at a minute left and still got so many people. Okay, Kyle's dead again. Um Oh boy. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, bro. Right. <laughs> Sorry for Rosie barking. Family comes inside and she feels the need to bark at everything like a moron. Now, this is why I wanted to save Aiden for the CLS team. That would be the reasoning. It was just because oh, I don't want to use Aiden against Mon Mothma. It's more just because I knew I still had CLS to contend with here. So, it is what it is. Okay, we've got Magma stunned and ability blocked and anything and everything between. Um... I'm really trying to get Chewy out of the way, so that way they lose guard. Because the quicker he's dead, the quicker everything... Yep, there we go. The quicker this team collapses. I mean, GPO, yes, is still a problem. Um, however, I really just don't like Chewy. He's a massive pain. And then this team is going to be more difficult to kill with uh, GPO being undazable. So that's going to kill this Aiden uh, counter for months. Isn't he immune to stun as well? I think he's like immune to daze and something else. <sighs> Damn, that's not gonna be fun. Let's use something besides Imperial Troopers against CLS. Great. That is absolutely stellar work, CG. It is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. I really don't know why he has Kenobi and Yoda with this team. It's not a bad idea, but it didn't work, so... I'm extremely confused. All right, well, lots, of, lots of, lots of, lots of defense. One hundred sixty-five percent. Absolutely ridiculous amount. So to save myself the headache, we're going to use Star Killer here. Pretty straightforward answer. Oh, that also means I need to push up Visa. I know I keep saying this, I need to keep pushing Visas and Jihani up. Or like five. I'll do it one day. I just I need to get Jabba done first. No, oh, that's nice. Radis actually got a turn. So now we have no debuffs on the field. And yeah. Okay, well, he's dead. Now we need to kill uh, Jen before she revives him. Or tries to revive him. We're pretty close to bringing down the Star Destroyer, though. 
like one more move. There we go. And boom. Ah, oh, didn't kill Jin. That is stupid. But okay. Okay, fleets. What do we got fleet wise? Uh, executor, Negotiator, and the Radis Resistance Fleet. Well, we're just going to blast through this real quick. Because I just need to get as many points as humanly possible to win. Especially after my dropped fight against um, his gas team. Knocked out Xanadu and IG. Beautiful. Beautiful work. I mean, I probably could have gotten away without bringing in uh, the Ghost and Phantom as reinforcements, but eh, I won. I mean, can't really argue with that. A win's a win. What are we going to do here? Oh, we're going to do the malevolence. could have done the Empire fleet against this, but that would have required me having to like pause my recording and re-look up the counter guide, like the video for it, because I cannot for the life of me remember it properly. Not from lack of trying, it's just I cannot remember what the proper moves are for the uh, counter. Eventually one day I'll remember it and keep it tucked away somewhere in my head, but there's a lot of counters, remember. So, yeah. We'll see. Sun Fox dead. Um, can we not lose people? That'd be great. Okay, lose more people is what I mean. really wanted to kill Anakin before the Y-Wing, but not much I can do about that now. See, this this looks a lot more manageable now. Well, for the most part, it looks more manageable. It's so cool that that fleet has so many AOEs for no reason. Very cool. Such a nice fleet. And horrible banners. Okay.
Oh. Rose is dead. I guess her love for whatever did let her stay alive. I can't remember what her little. Oh, uh, what was the stupid speech? What is the speech she gave in the last Jedi? I can't remember. Whatever, some some fight, k kill something with love or. What, what was her? I don't remember. Another hunty odd. I have been very, 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 very slowly gearing up the ray requisites. It's just gear I don't have. I don't need for uh, other projects. So eventually, I will be starting that fun grind, and I do not look forward to it in the least bit. Okay, so we've still got a GL, two GLs actually, and. Three teams, a lot of defense on this Inquisitor team. Well, at least they actually have their uh, Inquisitors ready for their Grand Inquisitor event. Whenever that finally comes back. It'll either be like June or March, probably June, but who knows because CG doesn't tell us anything. Killing a garbage faction because they're garbage without data crumbs. Okay, they're not garbage, they're just very, very, very mediocre. Like, they've been boosted up with data crumbs since the full team was available last year. And good grief, they. Oh, yeah, they're not good without data crumb. Which is kind of pathetic, really. I know that'll change. Relatively soon, with people getting Reva unlocked, my uh, I won't be getting her for a bit. Um, I had to look to see how many shards I have of her, because my guild doesn't have a whole bunch of Grand Inquisitors. Uh, we're not getting a whole bunch of shards for her each month. It'll probably be about halfway into the year before um, I get her, or even later. I don't know. I I don't. I need. I need to look. I don't think we're even at a hundred yet. If that tells you anything, um, let's see. Reva, Reva, Reva. Oh, oh, yeah. We are at. I have sixty-six. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Good grief! I don't even have Afra before that. That is. <laughs> I'll have Afra, Trench, and Boba Fett, Sion, and Jango before. Her. Wow. That is something. But it is what it is. I'll have her one day. Come on, my sister. Just die. Just die. Please stop. 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 Stop living. Thank you. Yippee. Another victory for the Separatist. Okay. So. Bam. Scoundrels. No revive. That's really not a problem because this team has no survivability to begin with. And I still have quite a bit of stuff laying around to use. I'm gonna go with a three man though. Just to be on the safer side, I guess. <laughs> oh, and this, uh, this fight was for the, I should have mentioned this way, way, way at the beginning of, of this video. This is for the uh, first place of the bracket. 
because I had won the previous two fights and this was for first place. Speaking of first place, I actually need to pull up the score from this one. There we go, I found it. Okay, now it's just Nimbo with no Zetas. Interesting play, and it didn't help him because if he had one Zeta, even the one that makes him not be crit, that would have been a little harder to kill him. Alright, what do we got here? Potency and health. Okay. Sounds good to me. We're gonna do another trio here. I probably could have just done a duo or even a solo, to be completely honest. I wonder how well a solo would have done with Lord Vader alone. That would have been fun. But I was just trying to err on the side of caution to ensure I didn't lose more banners than I already had because of my fail earlier on. And also Darth Vader here is just going to start killing them with uh, Culling Blade eventually. Or just his basic. <laughs> Look at that. He's killed... He almost killed the entire team just by himself. Isn't that just beautiful? Chef's kiss. Maybe I could just another duo with Lord Vader and Darth Vader. Oh well. It, in the past, it doesn't matter. Alrighty then. So, the final score for the final fight of season whatever for 5v5 green, and it was 1844 to 1821. If I had not dropped that fight on gas, I may have had one because he didn't drop a single fight and he was just, uh, he did a lot more uh, like solos and duos and stuff than I did. So, it is what it is. But um, yeah, if y'all enjoyed, hit like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff and um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you later on this week with 3-3 gameplay. I hope you have a good day.